This is Earth Sketchpad, I'm Ricky Martin, and if you like drawing arms, I've got the animal for you. It's an octopus, and you can draw it in three minutes. So when drawing an octopus, I like to start with a bulbous bit of their body, like that, that kind of shape, a little line down there. And this piece here is a siphon, it's a muscular tube that they blow water through to move through the ocean. Little bits up here are going to be eyes, and they've got like a sideways pupil in them, a horizontal one. And now for the arms, of which there are eight, and they are called arms and not tentacles, and not dangly bits. I like to draw them in these little spirals like this. I tend to sort of scrunch them up like that anyway. Sometimes I don't quite know what to do with my hands, so if I had eight of them, I'd probably just go like this as well. And they have these little bits like this come around that kind of skirt between them. Nice long one out the front there. On the underside, I put these bits at the front so you can see it, they have suction cups on their arms. Most species have these anyway. I'll show you those, just these little circles. And they use these arms to, well, move rocks around to make their dens. And then sometimes they use them for walking, I guess. I think the back two ones are used for walking and the front ones are used to forage for food. Some suction bits on the outside there. Whoa. Really got to pick up the pace. Another one like that. Need to stop and count them because I've forgotten how many I've done. I've done seven. There you go, that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yet yeah, one more. Simple one. Just tighten this up a little bit. What else do they do, have I missed? Ah, what's quite cool about these guys is that they can change colour, not just for camouflage, but also to communicate with other octopuses. And that's the plural, it's not octopi. When these guys get scared, because they do get scared, they shoot an inky fluid out that darkens the water and confuses the prey. And between these eight legs, right at the centre, is a beak that they eat through. Weird. There's an octopus in less than three minutes. So now you know how to draw an octopus, but this octopus isn't that great out of the water. So I reckon it's got a bit of a sense of adventure. I'm gonna draw it in a canoe or a kayak. I can't actually remember the difference. And a couple of paddles in each of the arms. Two paddles, not eight. A shape like this, lots of straight lines. Maybe one over here. Do it. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Let's add a little bit of shading on the underside here. Just a couple of lines next to each other. Just on the inside there, because that's the same plane. So it looks okay in a kayak. Not massively comfortable, but it's even worse at navigation. Let's do a couple of rocks here, one there. A couple of smaller ones going off into the distance, but on the same kind of line. And that's because this is going to be a waterfall. So it's like a cloud of the foamy water crashing down at the bottom. So there's the lines here, just showing the force of the water going over the edge, splashing up against the rocks in the direction of the river. Sort of precariously balancing just before he goes over. Maybe a couple of trees on the riverbank. So for the octopus, I've used quite dark, thick strokes, and that's to bring him to the foreground. And for the background, I've used lighter ones, so they don't distract from him, and they feel further away. Maybe a little clearing of green down here. A couple of vines hanging down. <laughs> a kayaking octopus, and it doesn't end well.
Loving the Creature Chaos? Well, there's plenty more Sketchpad picks on the BBC Earth Kids channel.